Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. The High Court in Cape Town will hear an application to interdict the EFF from protesting outside the Brackenfell High School. The matter was postponed last week to allow the EFF to make representations. The application has been brought by the school's governing body. Judge Siraj Desai says the EFF gave an undertaking it would not disrupt metric exams at the school. There were violent clashes between parents and EFF members outside the school last week. The EFF was protesting alleged racism at the school after reports that 42 white learners had attended a private party at a wine estate. Western Cape Education authorities say the event was not organized or funded by the school. Our reporter Vanessa Puna is on the story. Let's cross live to her now for the latest. Vanessa, a very good morning to you. Where are we with this case at the moment? Desiree, yes, good morning to you. And uh, we are actually expecting uh, the urgent application brought by the school governing body uh, of the Brackenfell High School to be heard before Judge Siraj decide this morning. Uh, just now, you did say that the, the judge had granted the EFF time until today to make representations. Uh, now, we do know that, of course, the matter uh, stems from uh, chaos that ensued outside uh, the Brackenfell High School last Monday. This, of course, after it came to light uh, that a masquerade ball for matrix had allegedly been arranged uh, by a group of parents etc uh, and uh, the EFF then went uh, and protested uh, peacefully outside the school uh, against what they call exclusion and racism uh, seeing as though uh, not, uh, there were no uh, black learners that were involved or invited to this masquerade ball. Now what has since happened is that the school governing body as well as the Western Cape Education Department have been at pains to explain uh, that this uh, gathering was indeed a private function and not one that was uh, given the go-ahead uh, by the department itself, saying that due to COVID-19, they had taken a decision earlier on not to host a matric ball uh, for the school per se. Of course, um, what we saw outside uh, the school on Monday uh, was then uh, parents and wider members of the community uh, coming to physical blows with the EFF members that were protesting outside the school. And that, of course, led uh, to the uh, court action uh, that we now expect, uh, the interdict application we expect to be heard here today. I can tell you uh, that last week, uh, Wednesday, uh, a 39-year-old man appeared in the Kells River Magistrates Court. Uh, this after he allegedly fired an air gun uh, into the air outside, during those scuffles that took place. Uh, Jaco Pretorius uh, was then charged with uh, the discharge of a firearm in a public place. Uh, and his case uh, was then postponed uh, until January the 25th. So that is a, a matter that was emanating or that emanated from uh, the chaos that ensued outside the Brockenfell High School last Monday. Just in terms of the parents, uh, uh, Vanessa, what, what are the school parents saying, uh, you know, in the aftermath of, of all of this? You know, Desiree, there's been quite a lot said um, on social media, in the newspapers, etc. Um, a lot of the community feels uh, that this matter is being blown out of proportion. Some saying, uh, why can people not understand that this indeed was a private party? On the other hand, Desiree, there are those that feel strongly about the fact uh, that given uh, the situation that our country is in, uh, post-apartheid and post-colonialism and so on, uh, that a matter uh, or an event where uh, a party has been arranged, uh, uh, where exclusive white students have been invited is a matter of concern and of course uh, when uh, Judge Siraj Desai uh, uh, last week heard the uh, well started hearing the application brought by the school governing body he did say that if indeed the matter is so uh, that this was a matter of exclusion that the EFF had a right to protest uh, peacefully and of course um, giving them then chance uh, to come and make their representations here today I'm not quite sure exactly uh, what will take place when this application is heard uh, some would have expected there to be some support outside court this morning uh, but we haven't seen that of course you must take into account uh, that COVID-19 protocols are still in place there's quite a long line outside court as those waiting uh, to go into other cases uh, are being screened and I, I take it that only 10 people are allowed in any one given area at a time so of course we will be keeping close watch uh, on any developments here outside court but also we will go inside court room 9 uh, to hear this urgent application and also report back to you if indeed it does go ahead and if uh, an outcome is indeed a May today. Well, I'll wait to hear that outcome. Thank you so much. Vanessa Puna there coming to us from outside court.